What large vendors are currently accepting fire requests and what solutions are they trying to solve? For example, uh, Cerner seems to have a large presence in Smart on Fire, but how is it being used? I think the answer is we're all very early. So the project Argonaut, you can find there's about 50 major vendors that are participating in that process. And Cerner is certainly one of the leaders in that space. I think the first baby step that the Project Argonaut guys are trying to take, which is appropriate, is read-only access to data that all of the EMR vendors were forced to have courtesy of meaningful use. So rather than saying we're going to spray out all kinds of data, we're just going to start with these elements that we already know have to go into a CD, CD or are part of meaningful use. Let's just get access to the data that we know is already there. So that's really the workflows that are in progress today. I think that those first baby steps are okay. I think what's much more interesting is as we build out more vendors that have access to more of their database, courtesy of that red box and courtesy of the fire uh, resources becoming more standard, that we'll find that more workflows are more positively impacted. So, you know, it's fair to say, regardless of what vendors tell you, it's fair to say that we're really early in this and, you know, the the production deployments of fire that I have heard about or seen are really limited in, in terms of their scope of use today. And they're much more like, that's the reason I started with my example, they're much more internal focused. It's okay if a lab vendor sticks on the side of their application a fire API and then writes their proprietary application to talk that fire API. I consider that a successful fire deployment and a, and a production use of fire but it's not as exciting to me as, you know, multiple fire endpoints that we can query through the engine or query through a workflow scenario of some sort. So we're early, look up Project Argonaut and also go to that smarthealthit.org to see the, the Smart on Fire apps. I think would be two places I would look for production use.